Hey everyone, my name is Tolani and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be jumping into a new video editing app and show you how to create crop feather transition. It's pretty easy to do, so let's show you what it looks like. Are the clips we're going to be working with as you can see we have footage one footage two and footage three in each of these folder we have two clips in inside as you can see video one to video two likewise we have the next folder which we have video three to video four then the last folder which is the footage three that comprises three video clips so we're going to be creating this crop feather transition across these three clips right here so you can understand how to transit between three clips two clips and likewise two clips but in different positioning and direction of your crop feather so now on the first clip so let's say you have these two clips right here and you want to transit from this video one to video two what you want to do first to achieve that crop feather transition is to what is to make sure you drag this on top of the first video layer right here then what you want to do is to click on the top video which is the second layer which is the second layer i want to add an effect to it by coming
to the next clip right there in a very rapid and seamless transition as you can see can you see it's gonna wipe that which is awesome seamless transition so to make it more to make it more professional you can hold on this and like this to keyframe and come to your keyframe assistant and click on this and set it to ease out right here make sure it's set to ease out so you can have that professional seamless transition then you want to what you want to control the what the, the feather because as you can see we are having these sharp edges at this spot right here so to control that you come to your feather which is your blow right here and what sharpen leaf to make it blend a little bit as you can see it's gonna blend so now we've controlled that and you have created that cinematic sequence right here so what we want to do is to what is to close this up as well and come to this layer right here because we want to transit from this video what to this video below it right here as you can see so what we want to do is to bring your timeline towards this part right here and what you want to apply this effect come to this plus icon then apply this layer style then come to your mask side right here and what click on this to change it to rectangle then after that you want to what now what you want to do is you want to apply another different style you want to transit from video C to what to the next clip below it but you want to bring the transition from top so what you want to do is to what on this tools right here and come down to this and on this as well so you cannot show you can show you what clips you are transiting into so now we have done that well, what we want to do is to increase this is to increase your mask a little bit right here so what we want to do is still we're going to be applying that center transition as we did in the previous at this top one right here so what we want to do now is to what is to come to your center right here and what you want to use the y axis which is this so you want to set a keyframe at this spot right here which is your first keyframe and move 15 frame 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 make sure it's 15 or 10 which is pretty awesome you can make it 5 depending on what, how you want your transition to actually look like so but for this we want to be using 15 so what i'm going to be doing is i want to use my y axis so you can either what you can either bring your next clip as you can see this is my next this is the clip below it you can either bring it from the top or you can as well bring it from the what from the bottom whichever way but i'm gonna bring it from what i'm gonna bring it from the top right here so we're just gonna create that seamless transition as you can see so now where i've created this so what i'm gonna be doing now is to hold on this and go to my keyframe assistant and send it to what is out as we did for the previous and uh, close this up then so when we play this up this is what we're gonna be having you can see it's gonna transit from the first to the what then bring it from the from the top which is making it more cinematic as you can see it's very seamless what transition right there as you can see it's very seamless right there it's gonna what bring into the next and the next one which is awesome so we've come to the end of this video please if you gain value out of this video please be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribe and make sure to turn the notification bell so you stay notified every time i release a new video and as always i'll see you in the next video so enjoy the rest of the video have a great day bye for now